Deep in the mountains of Switzerland lies a marvel of engineering, the Gothard Base Tunnel. This is the longest railway and at the same time the deepest transport tunnel. Just imagine, 35.5 miles of pathways carved in the rocks. And the total length of all the tunnels, shafts, and passageways is even more incredible, 94.3 miles. The construction of the tunnel ended relatively recently, in 2016. It lasted for 17 years and best believe it is very fast for a process like this. But perhaps there is a new innovative method of creating tunnels which will allow them to be built 10 times faster and cheaper. Because a huge swarm of robots will work. The construction of the Gothard Base Tunnel was a complex as well as a time-consuming process. And sure thing, the drilling progress itself took the most time. For this, tunnel boring machines TBM and drilling and blasting methods were used, but it still took years to build. However, laying a tunnel is not all. Time is needed to build infrastructure, tracks, ventilation, and monitoring systems, as well as emergency and evacuation systems. This requires precise design and careful planning to ensure that the tunnel meets safety requirements. Moreover, time must be allowed for testing and commissioning of the tunnel, including testing the railway traffic. But digging a huge tunnel in solid rock still takes the most time, even though the most modern tunneling machines are huge monsters that dig structures over 20 feet in diameter. They are armed with terrifying blades and look like giant worms from a science fiction movie. But if this is the pinnacle of evolution of tunneling machines, then against its background, the solution from the hypertunnel startup seems completely microscopic. But once, the huge dinosaur seeded the planet to small mammals, right? The hypertunnel startup has been trying to prove to everyone since 2018 that the current tunneling methods are too expensive and could well be replaced by alternatives. A 30-person team based in Basingstoke, England claims robots as small as 10 inches can build tunnels. If we simplify the process of creating hypertunnel, it will look like this. Thin 10-inch pipes are drilled into the rock along the contour of the future tunnel. Obviously, creating these is much easier than the huge hole many feet in the rock. After that, 10 smart robots with robotic limbs and milling heads are placed in these channels to extract small pieces of rock. They load the rock into their hull and take it to the surface. In the meantime, other robots fill the vacated space by spraying a concrete layer. This is how the structure of the future tunnel is gradually created. It should be noted that the robots are designed in a semi-cylindrical shape in order to constantly move through the channels in two directions to speed up all the processes. And we are talking about the fact that thousands of robots can work at the same time, like ants or termites that build their colonies. But then again, all this is a very simplified description of the process. So long as the startup has assembled a team of scientists and engineers from various fields, not always directly related to the construction of tunnels, and they brought their innovative solutions to the process. For instance, patented geological survey methods are used at the preparation stage, and a digital copy of the future tunnel is created using virtual reality VR and building information modeling BIM technologies. There are also some specific features in the construction process itself. Remote control of robots is complemented by the use of artificial intelligence with the possibility of learning. Special algorithms are also written for the interaction of robotechnics according to the swarm principle. This allows the robots to communicate with each other and coordinate common efforts. And most importantly, experts believe that this technology will allow tunnels to be built 10 times faster while being the same or even less expensive than conventional technologies. Therefore, it is not surprising that the developers managed to convince the European Innovation Council EIC, to allocate about $2 million for the development of the project. It was also supported by the Vinci Company, a world leader in concessions, energy and construction business. And at the end of last year, the startup presented the world's first underground structure built entirely by robots. This is a 20-foot-long, 6.5-foot diameter pedestrian tunnel that was created within the scope of the Network Rail project and presented at the British Tunneling Society Conference and Exhibition in London. The unique combination of technologies from different industries allows the Hyper Tunnel project to provide a huge number of advantages over traditional tunneling. 
This option is faster, safer, cheaper, and more accurate. It reduces risk, eliminates geological challenges and inaccuracy in the trajectory, reduces the number of consumables as well as the impact on the environment. But will it become widely used? And does it look like the technology that will help us build the incredible tunnels of the future? Please answer in the comments and be sure to subscribe to the channel in order not to miss even more incredible innovations that are already being created.